I'm going to show you how to make an awesome rubber band and paper clip launcher. You may or may not want to actually make this rubber band and paper clip launcher, but if you do, this is how you do it. It's got a lot of cool moving parts. It's got some like axles here that the parts move on on the inside. The trigger goes like this. Ooh, I don't know what I hit there. <laughs> ah. It's not glued together or anything, so it's really easy to take apart. Just a tiny piece of tape and some rubber bands, hold it together. It's made out of two pieces, one piece on this side, one piece on that side. They're both exactly the same. So when you take it apart, ooh, there's your two pieces, two wheels. The rubber band is hooked onto this wheel, and then the other end of the rubber band is on the tip. And then the rubber band is going to be pulling up on this side, but you can see it's being kept from going by this. But as you pull up the trigger, eventually it slips past and lets it shoot. First thing to do is download the blueprints and directions that are linked in the description of this video. This video is more of just a companion to the directions. Next, there are two pieces of the blueprint that you need to tape together you'll probably want to use a ruler to make sure that it's all straight. Next step is to cut out all the pieces of the blueprint. You're going to cut through a lot of numbers, but that's okay. The only reason you'd ever need those numbers is if you wanted to check your measurements later when you've cut your cardboard. And you can always go pull the file back up on the computer. Next, you're going to start tracing your blueprints on the cardboard. You'll need to look in the instructions to find out how many of each you need. I was able to fit all of mine on a pizza box. Now we're on step five, if you're following along in the directions. We're going to cut out those things that you traced. Uh, if you have an X-Acto knife for the tricky parts, that's great. But I actually mostly use a scissors anyway. So a scissors is great all by itself. Second part of step five is to drill holes. You're going to look at your template and see where those holes are. Line it up with your piece of cardboard. Use a scissors and poke it. You probably shouldn't do what I'm doing here and rest it on your knee because you can probably poke your knee. But have another piece of cardboard under that. And then just twist the scissor bit. Step six, taping all the layers together. Uh, I don't tape over the entire gun, I just do the edges. Uh, when you're done, you're going to have two body pieces and five inside pieces. Step seven is to put on the trigger stop. You can see here on the blueprint where it goes. The trigger stop is pretty important, so make sure you get it on there tight. Step eight is the spacers. You don't need to be as careful taping these. Step nine is the straw dowels. That's B on your blueprint. You're gonna cut two pieces of straw to the same length as B. Then you're gonna cut those straws right at the middle so you can wind them tighter. To make this straw into a tighter dowel, I put some tape on one half of it, and then I just rolled it. In the end, it's taped, it's thinner, and it's a lot stronger. Next, just stick the dowels in. You might need to make them a little thicker with tape. Put the trigger on. There's a couple ways to do this. You're just going to hook up a rubber band so it pulls the trigger up. Pinwheel on. Other half on. Rubber band it together. Then you're done. This is how you make a bullet. Find some paper clips and a rubber band. Put them together. Make sure you can see the side of the pinwheel, and then open up your paperclip a little bit so it can hold on to the pinwheel better. Put the paperclip on the end of the pinwheel like that, and then stretch the rubber band part out to the nose. You want the rubber band on the nose and not the paperclip on the nose, because when the paperclip is where it is in this picture, it shoots a lot farther. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, and if you've uh, actually built it, then that's that's super awesome. That would be so cool if someone actually built this, but uh, maybe they won't. But anyway, the rest of this is just me playing around with a cell phone I taped to the end of my gun uh, launcher, whatever you want to call it, so you can watch it if you want, but this is pretty much it. I think the paper clips make sure it's felt. Uh, <laughs> can I shoot you?
Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I know, the thing is shooting really hard now. It's shooting really hard, and it's shooting the paper clip. That hurts. Oh, sorry. Hope it didn't hurt you too bad. But thanks for volunteering. No problem. Oh.